My name is Mallory McGuire, and this game is called Bocker. This game is specified for grades 6 through 8. For this game, you're going to need goals, soccer balls, poly spots, and pennies. The objective of this game is that the students will be able to throw and kick a ball into a target. And as a teacher, there are some specific performance criteria to look out for during a kick. Make sure the students have continuous approach to the ball followed by a long stride just before coming in contact with the ball. Watch to see if the non-kicking foot is placed even or slightly in the back of the ball and that the student kicks the ball with the inside of the preferred foot. For this game, the class will need to be split into two even teams, each having a goalie. The poly spots will show the boundary lines in the goalie box. The game will start like a soccer game. However, if the ball is kicked up in the air, it will become a handball game. The students are not allowed to dribble the ball with their hands. They are only allowed to take two steps while in possession of the ball. The students will be trying to score by kicking or throwing the ball into the other team's goal. One point will be rewarded for throwing the soccer ball into the goal, and two points will be rewarded if the soccer ball is kicked into the goal. There are a few simple ways you can change this game up. You can allow the students to dribble. The students must pass the ball a certain amount of times before they can try to score. Basketball goals can also be added in as another form of scoring. During this game, the teachers will be watching and making sure that the students are performing with the correct form and techniques. A few things to focus on would be kicking the ball with the inside of the preferred foot, trapping the ball, dribbling, throwing, and catching.